we have the privilege of uh, with us uh, Dr. Kanu Kalu. She's from Nigeria. Doctor, today is International Youth Day. What is the message? Well, um, what we're really interested in seeing is a way to harness Africa's youth potential towards propelling economic growth and development across the region. There's so much opportunity and we're seeing a lot of external actors coming in and there's a need for a coordinated effort on the African side to really exploit the opportunities. And there's lots of organizations that are coming in and um, attempting to try to create a platform for African voices and interests. Mm -hmm. One of the things that um, I'm hoping to see developed soon is um, an African Trade and Development Council mm -hmm. that will work very hard at coordinating African efforts towards promoting um, economic development, especially between um, African countries and African regions, providing a united front mm -hmm. in propelling economic growth and social development in Africa. Absolutely. Well, th Doctor, you mentioned something that is very interesting, united front. Uh, recently, we just celebrated 50 years of uh, African Union. Uh, looking back, what do you think is the problem? How hard is it to get together and have a united front to face all these issues you're talking about? The problem with Africa. That's such, that's such a controversial question. Um, I think that systematically Africa has really suffered um, from poor leadership over time. And um, we've also, unfortunately, have come through systems where we are um, more inclined to help our friends and our families and our neighbors and our communities and not the other. We, we, we view ourselves not as Africans but by our ethnic identities or our national identities and while that's wonderful and we need to hold on to that heritage we need to also think of ourselves beyond that and we are at the end of the day Africans. Whether we want to see ourselves as united or not we are united. The whole world sees us all as Africans and so there's a need for us to look past those past those differences. There's a need for us to put down the, the problems that we had, the disagreements, the conflict, mm -hmm. and to work together towards helping each other because we will all benefit. Absolutely. It's not my tribe that will benefit and the other tribe won't. Absolutely. Everybody will benefit. Absolutely. Dr. Carroll, well, thank you so much. Tell us a little bit more about your organization, what you do, and what is the next step of, uh, going forward? Um, right now, I'm working as a strategy consultant um, and a coordinator with a number of different um, Africa-centric organizations here in DC, including, as I mentioned earlier, the Africa Trade mm -hmm. and Development Council um, and a few others, the United States South Sudan um, mm -hmm. Chamber of Commerce. And what I'm doing is using the resources that are available to me, my education background skills, mm -hmm. as well as my contacts and networks here in DC mm -hmm. to um, bring African issues and concerns to the front of the table, to um, help promote, help my, my African brothers and sisters mm -hmm. Um, attain their goals and their objectives and help promote um, issues that are of utmost concern to Africa where they may not be, you know, primary concern, for instance, to America or to other policymakers. Absolutely. Well, Dr. Kendall, thank you so much.